What's good, people? So we're setting up at a wedding right now, and I want to show you guys the proper way to set up and use the Chauvet Nimbus. Watch this. All right, so we're back in the kitchen, getting ready to fill this bad boy up. First rule is you're going to fill this up with about four and a half gallons, but the trick, it makes it really easy. You don't have to measure it out at all. You're supposed to plug it in first. So I always find a spot in the kitchen with an outlet. Once you have it plugged in, it's not gonna turn on until the sensor's covered with water. So as long as you have it plugged in, you just keep filling this bad boy up until the red light turns on, and then you know for a fact you have the perfect amount of water. You usually do this with a pitcher or something, so we're gonna do that now. All right, so we got our bucket of water. So step one, it's plugged in. Step two, you wanna make sure the basket is all the way up. Step three, you open it up and you fill this bad boy up until the red light comes on. So we're gonna watch this red light. Red lights over here. Keep going, keep going. All right, it's not on yet, we need more water. Back with bucket number two. I'm gonna be careful not to overfill it, so I'm just gonna do a little bit, see if it comes on, right? Not yet, not yet. A little more. Oh, it's on, all right, we're good. And that's it. So we're gonna stop there. Now we know we have enough water in this bad boy. I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna heat it up inside the ballroom. So let's head there. All right, now as far as heating it up, you can heat it up with just one cable and it takes about 60 to 80 minutes. I think the directions say it only takes an hour, but it usually takes a little longer. It depends like how strong the outlet is. You can add a PowerCon cable in addition and it'll do faster. I think it's like around 35, 40 minutes to heat up. The problem with that is, is like the PowerCon has to be in its own circuit or else you're gonna blow something or it's just not gonna work at all. You need to have like crazy power. So I usually just rely on this one little cord and I try and plug it in during cocktail hour because it gives a full hour to kind of heat up. And then once I brought up part of lined up everything Thing, usually the light's green and I'm good to go. So I time it out that way. So, you know, you're not heating it up super early and then it's going to stop heating and then cool too much and then heat up again. You know what I mean? Because if the light, green light goes on, it's going to go out eventually, like, because it's going to stop heating. The, the heating element turns off. So, you know, you don't want that to happen. And then you're kind of nervous doing the dance on the cloud effect with no green light later. So I always try and time it out six to 80 minutes. Beginning of cocktail hour, we'll plug this bad boy in and make sure we're good. Now you did all that, your Nimbus is heated up, it's ready to go, let's talk ice, how to actually use it. So the number one thing is you have to realize that this basket holds a maximum of 10 pounds of ice and pellets work best. You don't want like a big ass block of dry ice if you ever tried that, it doesn't work well. Pellets, there's more surface area, it, it works way, way, way better. So always use pellets. And then what I do is when I go to my Iceman, Mac the Iceman, shout out to Mac the Iceman, I always have them bag it up into 10 pound bags. So it's already pre-measured everything and it's really easy to pour in. So I got my, cooler and I got three 10 pound bags ready to go. I rip them, pour it right in. It's the exact amount. I know I'm good. Uh, worst case, if it's a longer first stance, you might need a second bag. And then you got one for later. You know, one of those things where you're like four or five beers deep, like where's my feet? You know what I mean? Like get the people later. But it's very important you use the correct amount of water and the correct amount of ice. Otherwise you're gonna get a bunch of squirting paws out the front like like if you ever had a puddle up front of your uh you know on the dance floor literally in front of the nimbus it's because you're using either too much ice or too much water or both and it hodge modulates in there and then ends up overflowing outside as long as you do the right amount of water and the right amount of ice you'll always be good and another huge tip that i always do is i always ask the venue to turn off the hvac system or the heating or whatever like the air in general during the first dance only. That way you don't have any draft that's gonna mess up your clouds and stuff. You know, you wanna make sure it's nice and calm air. And most venues will do it literally two minutes before you start and then they turn it right back on after. Nobody notices, but you have that perfect effect laying low on the ground right there. And that's it, people. So I'm about to show you how it turned out tonight. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one.